hey guys so this is another video to show you how to ssh between machines and this is quite easy actually than most people think it is um so i would urge you to pay close attention to what i'm doing i'll explain things that i'm doing and then you can try it on your own and you should be able to get it um so here i have multiple um, virtual machines so I have about four of them but I'm going to use just this two so the idea is I want to be able to connect to Georgia from Stockholm so I will create an SSH key in Stockholm then copy it to Georgia and then try to connect to Georgia from Stockholm that is the idea so the first thing I will do is First, I need to do a configuration on Georgia, which is to allow Stockholm to connect using um, a password. Or maybe I should leave that for later. I would like to show you an error that some of you might be experiencing, which um, is making you worry what you're doing wrong. So let's go and generate the SSH keys first. So I will log into Stockholm and then generate the SSH keys. So I can log into Stockholm easily by doing Vagrant, SSH, and the ID. Um, so just for you to note, um, what I've done here is, this is a command that shows you all of the virtual machines running on your computer. So if you run Vagrant Global Status, it shows you all of the VMs that you have, that you've created with, with um, Vagrant and each of them has a unique id so in your system you would have all of the vms with unique ids so you can actually use this unique id to do certain things like starting the vm stopping it doing ssh from anywhere so it's not until you cd into the directory of that particular vm before you can do vagrant up okay once the vm has been created it gives it a unique id which you can always use so even from here i can shut down geneva for example so i can do vagrant um halt as you would see i am not inside of geneva folder i'm not there i'm just somewhere else in fact i can just go to my home so i can do vagrant halt and then I put in the ID of Geneva, of the Geneva virtual um, machine, which so is DD43948. On your own system, the ID could be different. It is not the same. There is no one ID for each VM that you create. It, they're all randomly generated. So don't expect your own ID to match my own. So if I do this, then it now attempts to shut down the VM. So this is a good way to shut down your VM before you shut down your computer if you're trying to switch off your PC. So I recommend that you follow this route to shut down your VM before you turn off your PC. So if I check the global status again, so you see now that Geneva has been powered off. And I, if I want to power it on, I can do Vagrant, up, and then put in the ID again, nine, Four, eight so it's going to do the, the usual thing and it should start up in no time so um, yeah this is just to show you how I'm using this command so you don't get confused and as to what exactly I'm doing where am I getting IDs from that is where you get your IDs for the VMs once you have created a VM You've initiated it you've installed the os it gives it a random unique id so don't get um confused when you see that now like i said we want to generate an ssh key for stockholm and then copy it to georgia so that when we're logged into stockholm we can connect to georgia from stockholm so let me ssh into stockholm ssh and then the id now we're logged into Stockholm. So this is Stockholm. This is its own IP address. 
okay now um, of course this is the default user vagrant if you want to log in as an as another user you would use ssh um, sorry you will use vagrant ssh and then the user that you want to use and then the id so it would use it would sorry vagrant ssh then the id then the user on that particular machine so it would use that particular user to log in and then it might ask for a password other times it might not work if you have disabled um, password authentication so first let's um, turn on um, let's um, generate a new SSH key for Stockholm so I'll do SSH key gen and then it's going to ask me where I want to save the SSH key so I'll press uh, um, I'm fine with the default um, directory. This is the typical directory where SSH keys are stored in Linux, although you can change it. And you can also change the name um, that is going to use to save it. So if I don't want to use ID underscore RSA, I would then type forward slash home, forward slash vagrant, forward slash dot SSH, forward slash whatever name I want to use. So if whatever I put there, it will use it to generate the keys. But I'm fine with this for now. So I'll press enter. And then it's, going, it's asking if I want to um, password protect that SSH key. For now, I don't need it. It's not compulsory. You only do this if you want extra security. Um, but adding, the, adding the, the password for the SSH key defeats the purpose of um, sort of like a passwordless login, basically. So I'm fine with this. I don't need any password. So I'll just press enter and then enter. So it generates the key. It just takes a few seconds to generate a key. It doesn't take that long. Now that the key is generated, um, I will then try to copy the key to um, Georgia, to the VM that is called Georgia. So I will do SSH copy ID hyphen I, then vagrant at 192 that's the ip of the ip of um georgia is what i'm trying to type in if you don't know it you can just log into georgia and then you run ifconfig again to display the adapters and then you will see the ip address so um i suspect it's 20 because this is 21 and i created them you know they're right next to each other so i suspect this is 21 let me just try 20 it should be 20. okay so it appears it's correct so it appears that ip is, co is correct for georgia so it's asking um because it's a new connection so it does not is suspicious to it so it's asking if i want to um connect to it so i'll say yes and then press enter so now it says permission denied. You may have come across this error. Some of you must have come across this error where you try to copy the key and then it tells you that the permission has been denied. The reason this is happening is because by default, um, when you try to copy the ID to the other machine or when you try to um, SSH to another machine from, um, let me put it this way. If you try to SSH to um, system B from system A. If you have not enabled password authentication on system B, it will fail to connect because by default it tries to use password authentication instead of using the SSH key. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tell Georgia to allow password connection so that when we try to connect to Georgia from Stockholm, it's going to ask what is the password of the user they are trying to connect with and then once i enter the password it will copy the key so now i will just exit stockholm i'm going to leave stockholm now and i want to log into um i want to log into georgia um so what's georgia this is georgia's id so you can see this is georgia and this is the id so i'm going to ssh into georgia so what we're doing now is 
we want to SSH into Georgia so that we can allow password authentication. Once we have allowed password authentication, then we'll be able to copy the key from Stockholm to Georgia. Without it, we'll not be able to do anything unless you want to manually copy the keys, like copy and paste, which I won't exactly recommend because if you make errors while copy and pasting, you will not be able to connect with the SSH key. You will still have a bundle of errors, you know, a bunch of errors, and you might be putting it in the wrong file, which will not work at the same time. So um, this is the way to do it. This is the recommended way to do it. So you run Vagrant, SSH, and then I'm logging into Georgia. So once I log into Georgia, I'm going to modify the SSH config file for Georgia. As you would see, the IP address is 20, so we're in Georgia. Now to edit the file, I'll say sudo. Uh, I'm using nano editor. You might be using Vim, so if you're using Vim, then it's with VI, but I'm using nano forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config so this is the file that you need to edit sshd underscore config so you hit enter now just scroll all the way to almost close to the bottom you would find this line it's called to password authentication so you see so it says to disable tunnel clear text passwords change to no here so it's already on no by default that's the reason why you are getting the permission denied error from when you're trying to connect from stockholm to georgia so we need to change this to yes so we'll go just delete the no and change it to yes and then now we can save our file remember to save in nano or as the correct term is to write out so it's called write out if you're not familiar with nano editor just look at it always look at the bottom here these are where the commands for nano editor are located so you can always look here if you're not sure of what you're doing so you see that to write out is control o so i press control o and then it's going to ask what file do I want to write those changes to? So I know that I'm saving it to this same sshd underscore config. So I'll just press enter. Now it has written it. As you would see, it said wrote 123 lines. Of Don't get confused when it says this. The reason it's saying this is because there are actually 123 lines inside of this file. If you counted line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, like that. There are 123 of them. So what it's doing is just rewriting the whole file again with the changes you have made. Now that we're done with this, to exit, you press Control X, which is to exit, as you would see at the bottom here. You would see it's Control X. Now we need to reload the SSH service. If you do not reload that service, whatever changes that you have done to that config file will not take effect so think of it as restarting your system when you install a new software if you do not restart your system whatever software you have installed it might work but might start having issues or it will not even work at all until you restart your system so to restart the sshd service i'll do sudo systemctl so system ctl means system control so system ctl sshd the service that controls ssh is called sshd and the reason why using um sorry restarts then sshd so the reason why using um sudo is because this user is not a root user if it was the root user then i can just run system ctl restart sshd so you can do restart you can do reload both commands will work then you press enter so the restart is the restart is near instant you know it doesn't take two seconds it's done now we're done with um georgia so we're going to leave log out of georgia now 
I'm going to exit Georgia and then um, I'm going to log back into um, Stockholm to attempt to copy the um, SSH key again so let's log I want to log on back to Stockholm I'm just taking the ID so vagrant um, SSH the ID remember I am not in any folder so you'd see I'm this is like my own local system so on Windows for example you might be on your desktop or your documents or local the C or wherever it is that you created all of your vagrant boxes you might be in that folder so you can always use the vagrant the you can always use the ID of the machine to target that machine that you're trying to do something on so I'm logging in I'm logging in now and it's in um, so we'll attempt to copy the SSH key again so I'll just run the previous command so SSH copy ID hyphen I then vagrant which is the user on Georgia at the IP address of Georgia if I want to use another user I would put in the name of that the username of that user at the IP address but I'm fine with this then I'll hit enter so as you would see now can you see now that it's asking for the password of the user in Georgia so it's asking for the password so now I can enter the password the default password for vagrant as you may have known already is vagrant so username is vagrant password is vagrant of course you can change it to whatever or you can if you are using another user that you've created uh, for example the, the uh, if you create a new user and add the user to a group and you want to use that user you can you will use that user instead and then put in the user's password so I'm going to type in vagrant password and now it has copied the key you can see number of keys added one now try logging into the machine with this to make sure that the keys were added um, if we want to be sure that the keys have been added successfully and the keys work we will go and disable and turn off that password authentication that we turned on before on Georgia so let's go and turn it off so I'll just exit this guy and um, the reason I'm doing exit and SSH and then exit again is because I'm using only one terminal you can have multiple terminals okay so you can have multiple terminals one for Georgia or, or one for one machine and one for the other machine but I chose to just use one terminal I don't care how I how often I have to log out and log in it doesn't matter for me so I would then SSH into um, Georgia I believe this is the ID for Georgia yes so this is the ID for Georgia because I know that the IP is 20 now I'll edit the config file again and then I will go and turn off the password authentication so this is the config file for the SSH service which we edited earlier so I'm just going to change this back to no then save it and then reload the service again remember always reload that service if you change anything in the file if not whatever you do will not take effect so this for example if I don't reload the file and then I try to log in with um, Stockholm it will log in quite all right but it will now log in using password authentication and I will think oh everything is fine everything is working fine meanwhile whatever I have done is not working yet because I didn't reload the SSHD service on Georgia so I'm restarting this now I can log out so you can do log out you can do exit whichever one it all works the same if you do exit what it does is the the user session still remains open so it's just as if you are logged into your system and you just um, decided to walk away from your system but if you do log out it's like you're going into your system you're clicking on your power button and you're clicking on log out you know like you're logging out of your email account so it locks out the user so that nobody can log in now I would SSH back into Stockholm here we are 
So we're back to Stockholm. I know that because the IP address is 21. And now I would try to SSH into Georgia from Stockholm. So I can do that by saying SSH vagrant at 192.168.56.20. There. Can you see? Now we're inside of Georgia. You can see the IP address is 20. So I've successfully connected to one system from another using SSH keys. So this is how you SSH from one system to another. I hope it's um, understandable and you are able to do the same thing on your own. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section or DM me, chat me up or something.